If you use a cell phone, computer, or play video games, here are five reasons to think manufacturing. Number one, manufacturing is the new cool. Move over, boys, because the girls love it, too. I'm here at NanoRite, where they make and measure really small stuff for manufacturing. We're here at Superior Diesel, and they make engines. And we're here at Nasita Screw Machine Products, and they make screws from little to big to everything in between. Hey, Quinn. I'm here at Oldenburg Group Incorporated. They manufacture products for the mining industry and the Department of Defense. Let's go check it out. And guess what? At one time, Abe Lincoln was the president of this company. We're in Black River Falls, Wisconsin at DNS Manufacturing. They make products that go all over the world for military vehicles, agriculture, and construction. Today's factories are well lit, clean, and full of high-tech machines that can create almost anything. So, Scott, there's all these pieces here. What are they for? Well, all these pieces are tools for this vertical machining center. It holds 40 tools, and all these tools are for different things. For instance, this is like a saw, and it makes a slot in a part. This makes threads, and it's called a tap. This here is a boring bar. What that does is finish diameters, holes, to a real close tolerance. And basically, we can run pretty much anything on here. I actually ran this machine for a while, and I loved it. It was fun to run. It was very fun to run. Well, nowadays, if you use your imagination, like I said before, if you think of it, we can probably make it. Here's an example. This is a little trophy that was made on a machine like the one right behind me. Uh, you can see this part here is mainly round, which is typically turned on a lathe. This is actually three different parts. You see if I take it apart, uh, you can see we get to some pretty intricate details. Uh, but with this technology, like this machine, this was all done in one machine, in one process. Using your imagination, you can have a lot of fun in this field. Manufacturing really is the new cool. Number two, high-tech jobs are in demand. It takes hundreds of factories just to supply all the parts for a cell phone or your parents' car. Just about everything is made in a high-tech factory that uses computers, joysticks, robots, and even 3D animation to make their products. Today's manufacturers need skilled employees. Wow! This robotic welder works fast, lays a perfect feed every time, and lets them do even more work here. So, how is this program? Program through a computer, you'll actually uh, download it with a USB drive into our power source and then we can just pick up our program on here, hit play and it'll run. Oh, that's cool. You could even think of it like video games. Uh, lots of kids are used to playing video games and, and looking at virtual reality. Where today's uh, machinists, they do all their programming on computers and they see the simulators, almost like a video game, they see it run before they ever get out in the shop. We're here in the engineering department with Tim. How do you take the idea and make the actual model? Well, basically what happens is we start out with uh, specific uh, specifications from a customer. And what we do is we go through and once we have the basic models of the engine and the generator, we go through and start sizing everything else around it. All of the components that we then build here, we can actually send to our suppliers and then they can actually make um, all the individual components that we then assemble out on our floor. Um, Do you take all the blueprints that they make in engineering and turn them into the real products, right? Yes. I'll, I'll start with a computer generated picture like this and look at all the different parts. I have them all laid out in my work cell and slowly figure out what, what goes where. Hey Quinn, what are you up to? There's more to making a can than you think. Let's go into a soda tool and take a look. This is Bill and he's a department manager and he's going to help show us how to make the parts to create a can. So what is this part for? That part's called a punch. It takes the cup, which is the start of the process, and it pushes the aluminum through a machine, through these wall ironing rings, to lengthen the can and make it thinner. So is this for the bottom then? It is. At the end of the punch stroke, the can hits the dome die, creating the radius on the bottom of the can, making it strong enough to use. Is this for the top then? It is, it's for what we call the neck. It lengthens the top of the can, making the diameter smaller so that the lid fits properly. That's cool. Hey, I want some of that. 
<laughs> Number three, technical colleges offer lots of career choices. You can go in many directions, and with the right skills, a higher paying job is easier to find. Or you may decide to go on to a four-year university degree. Currently in the machine tool tooling field, there are um, opportunities to be creative, um, you know, actually take your ideas and uh, make them into something tangible you can hold in your hand and, you know, be proud of at, at the end of the day or the end of the week. Going to a technical college has, has opened a lot of doors to me and, and other students here. What's fun about my job? Um, I do something different every day. Um, I go in and I program a robotic welder to weld a bead on a part. Um, it's exciting to me. It's a challenge because I get to troubleshoot. This is where they teach the welding robots. So what's your job? My job is to make the program and tell the robot what to do, what parts are being welded on the floor. So these are the robots on the floor. That's cool. The last thing they do is paint the parts and send them for shipping. Love your Wii? Then you might love nanotechnology. Um, nanoscience is much smaller than a pea or a grain of salt. Um, it's considerably smaller than a, a piece of hair as well as um, it's, nanoscience is smaller than the blood cells within your body. Small, smaller, smallest, doesn't even come close to how small a nanoparticle is. One grain of dust looks like a boulder next to a nanoparticle. Nanoscience is a whole new world of technical jobs, and chances are you're using them every day. Your uh, Nintendo Wii has um, devices in it that could be related to nanoscience, the accelerometer, um, uh, MEMS gyroscopes, things like that. Yeah, I, I think anybody can get into nanoscience technology. Um, it's very interesting. Uh, if, if you enjoy playing with games or uh, any, any sort of high tech, you're going to enjoy nanoscience. It's very exciting. Now that is cool. Number four, manufacturing companies are great places to work. Imagine a three day weekend every weekend. Many factories are moving to shorter work weeks. How many days of the week do you work? I work, uh, I work four days a week, 10 hours a day. So just Monday through Thursday. you get three days off? Then? Yep. Nice long weekends, so it's pretty nice. Factories are moving away from five working days to four 10 hour days. Shorter work weeks save energy, cut traffic, give people more time to exercise. They take fewer sick days and just enjoy life more. Number five, you can learn what you need in awesome technical colleges and universities right in your backyard. I have um, middle school age kids and the advice I give them is to explore all your options. And you might find something that, that's your niche. That's what I want to do when I, when I graduate. That's what I want to do when I, you know, I want to go on to college and, and do this career. I, I definitely would recommend that middle schoolers explore all their options. I would definitely suggest job shadowing for a middle schooler if they're at all interested or think they are. So what skills are important to do your job? Uh, math is a big one. Um, being yeah. able to learn how to use, um, use math properly, not use a calculator, know exactly what the operations are, how you're actually going to go about doing it. Um, another big thing is just is, is knowing computer systems, how they work. It takes strong math skills, uh, critical thinking, uh, geometries, but math is definitely a, a strong need for this field. Being a student really opens up a lot of, uh, a lot of opportunities where uh, like, you know, factories and manufacturing facilities will let you in their doors and see, let you see what they're doing um, because you're a student. One person can't tell you the whole broad um, spectrum of the field, but until they get out and see it, that's when I think it'll really spark their attention. Manufacturing really, really is, is the new cool. cool.